Um, one more question. So last question from up here. Um, and it's going to, um, we want to turn to the energy and the environment. Um, Vice President Al Gore has called for us to produce 100% of its electricity from renewable non-fossil fuels by 2018, 10 years from now. That's just 10 small years from now. How, how are we going to accomplish this? It's funny that you asked that. People know Giuliani? Are you sure? I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's funny that you asked this question because I have this e email from a friend, uh, and it says uh, uh, that in relationship to the question on energy, that... Dear, uh, dear Nancy, Thursday I issued a challenge to reset the way America makes our energy policy. We have to have a new... safeguard the future of our nation against a, a malignant manifestation of uh, hunger for power and the exclusion of competing points of view and too much power in the hands of one person or a small group of people. It is absolutely essential that we have not only the checks and balances and separated powers and the safeguards and the Bill of Rights, 
even more important than all of that is the founding bedrock of our whole of the whole idea of our nation which is that we will have a well-informed citizenry that is involved and engaged and will You know, in the television age, uh, things changed a lot, but the internet and the blogs and the new ability to, to, to take part actively uh, is bringing a great new hope that we can reclaim the birthright of this nation. And you represent the, the leading edge of that new movement to reclaim the integrity of American democracy. And I, thank you. Thank you for what you I want to talk to you about the climate crisis. I, I, I made a speech a couple of days ago about the, and I referred to it in our little uh, dog and pony uh, show here. I'm the dog in this dog and pony show. And, uh, um, we have um, an historic challenge facing us, and I'm not going to belabor the reasons why we have to face the climate crisis uh, head on. But I, I would like to just give you just a couple of quick facts. The North Polar Ice Cap is normally the size of the lower 48 states, minus a, a, a tiny bit, uh, an area roughly the size of a, a medium-sized state. 47 of the 48 states, so the scientists like to be precise on this. It's been there more or less for three million years. It is a key part of the climate system. And because of the buildup of global warming pollution, principally CO2, and the trapping of heat in the lower atmosphere that has been understood by scientists for 150 years, the temperatures have now reached the point that the North Pole is melting. And the scientists who have access to the submarine data have now told us that there is a 75 to 80 percent chance that the entire North Polar ice cap, again the size of the continental United States during the summer months when it's most important, will be completely melted and gone in as little as five years. How can, how can we absorb the meaning of a magnitude of an event of that magnitude occurring during our watch? And if it goes, which is a, 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 a near certainty now, it can come back if we act very quickly to halt the continued accumulation of these uh, greenhouse gases in the atmosphere. But if we continue to procrastinate and pretend it's not real and, and reject the mandate of history that is being placed by destiny upon our generation, if we fail that test, if we reject the responsibility of being stewards for all future generations as this is unfolding. And if the heat continues to build up for decades at depth in the Arctic Ocean, then it'll never come back. And when the scientists tell us, uh, as they have from time to time, that we may have as little as 10 years in order to stop this process, lest we completely lose the ability to retrieve a, a, uh, a climate balance that is conducive to human civilization, when, the, when they say we, we only have a, that short period of time, that's one of the things they're talking about. So, how do we internalize the, the importance of that decision? Well, you all have been on the cutting edge, and I appreciate you uh, helping to get that message out. But one of the ways that, that we build our capacity to respond is by sketching out a, a plan to get from here to where we need to be. And if you look at the, the seriousness uh, of this climate crisis, 
you begin to see how it's connected to the economic crisis and to the national security threat that we face that comes from the threat of the